वेलकम बैक टू जंगल टूटोरियल सो एज वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट प्रोजेक्ट ओवर यू इन लास्ट वीडियो सो वी आर गोइंग टू बिल्ड दैट एप्लीकेशन एम्प्लॉय मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम सो वट आई एम गोइंग टू डू जस्ट आई विल क्रिएट वन प्रोजेक्ट एंड वी विल बिल्ड वी विल क्रिएट टू एप्लीकेशन ओके फर्स्ट लेट्स डू दैट दैन सो बिफोर डूइंग दैट आई हैव टू एक्टिवेट फॉर वर्चुअल एनवायरमेंट विच वी हैव ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड राइट सो जस्ट आई एम गोइंग टू यूज दैट सोर्स Our source is not required in Windows. We not we need to run only script. That is v three dot six. Then scripts activate. Okay, script is activated. Let me see if Django is installed or not. So I am using this pip freeze command to see which packages are installed in this virtual environment. so django 2.0 is installed so i don't need to worry about right so let's uh, quickly create one project django admin then uh, start project and project name i am going to do uh, e m s okay employee management system so it will create one structure project structure and it will create also ems folder So I am just going to that folder EMS, then I will see directory. So one directory is created inside this EMS folder, and uh, let me uh, let me rename this EMS so we can properly understand EMS to Employee Management System. Okay. Now I will create this Employee Management System. Now I'll look at this EMS. is our app main app name because we created project using this name and one is manage.py right okay so let's open this into code and uh, we will quickly see the structure of this project okay here it is it is opening so before that uh, we are going to build uh, we are going to create two more uh, django application uh, one for employee in which we are going to extend existing user model and second is polls so inside that polls we are going to create three models regarding that polls right question choices and one is for answer so let's quickly create two apps python manage.py then start app and app name is employee okay employee will be created so this is uh, our uh, now look at that employee is also created inside that migrations folder is there for migration files then admin apps models test and views and then ems right so let me create another application that is poll okay yeah so both applications are created now you can see here right and uh, in this video actually i have just created this video and in next video what we are going to do uh, we will uh, we will extend that user model and uh, and we will see in admin section so how can we uh, assign to admin and uh, how can we see into the admin panel and we are also going to create that uh, super user so let me uh, let me do that okay in this video itself manage.py and then create so before doing create super user we haven't migrated that means there are few default applications are already available in settings.py which are like uh, this one auth content type and uh, sessions right so for this three applications actually there are already migrations are available which we need to migrate migrate and then like this
yeah so now let's create super user create super user in the enter so what i'm going to do default is admin i'm going to put and use uh, email address will be email at the rate gmail.com and password will be admin at that one dot three this might not be allowing us yeah admin at that one two three is the our password and username is admin now let me run this application that uh, local host this is our default home page but what we are going to see admin panel this url comes from here in default url if you will see there is admin path is already set and that is coming from admin.site.urls which is built by django itself so this is django admin login page uh, our username is admin and password is admin right and login i am updating password uh, now you can see uh, two models are already registered in admin section so you can see here users which is admin we have created using create super user method and uh, this is the email address username these all are fields these all fields are available in this you can use this user permission more, uh, uh, this is also again one more model that is permission and one more model is groups but uh, both has a man to man relationship with user model so we can select multiple and also we can assign multiple users uh, multiple groups to single user this is login uh, login time and date joined so okay and this is one thing and one is group which i have already mentioned they are not allowing to uh, they haven't registered permission model by default but if you can do that so you can create group with uh, specific permissions like these three permissions i on, uh, only I, will, I want to give to employee like this and you can create that group and you can assign that group to any user so that's what we are going to use also okay so I think uh, that's it uh, in this video and in next video we are going to add more fields to this user model and uh, we will see in admin section itself so see, uh, see you in next video thank you very much